Good morning and happy Sunday. I hope today you'll find somewhere uh, to worship the Lord on his day today. Um, today I'm looking at um, the story of a meeting between Jesus and Zacchaeus. It's, it's only found in Luke's Gospel, in Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. It's a very simple story. Zacchaeus, who was a very important man, the chief tax collector and very rich. He had spent most of his life serving um, as a go-between between between the Romans and the Jewish people of um, Jericho. And he'd lined his pockets, he'd cheated people, he had taken extra and he was hated. He was hated because of his association with the Romans and he was hated because he had made a lot of people quite poor and uh, cheated them, um, defrauded them. It comes up here anyway. He he heard that Jesus was coming uh, to Jericho and he wanted to see him, but he was short of stature. He was a little man, he was a short man and he couldn't see above the crowd. And so he found a tree and climbed it. What an undignified thing to do for a man who was, I'm sure, full of his own self-importance. He had a position in the town and he may have been hated, but to climb a tree, I think that's really says how desperate he was to see Jesus. And that's a wonderful thing. It started in his heart with a longing, a desire to see this man who was going about doing all these things. He'd heard all about him. And even on the way into Jericho, a, a blind man had been healed. That's at the end of chapter 18. And uh, so the rumours about Jesus and what he was doing and what he was saying must have been flying around. And here he was coming to their town. Whenever we get an important person visiting a town here in the UK, Everybody, well, loads of people come out and line the streets. And it's an event. And Jesus comes in and he he speak, he looks at Zacchaeus and he speaks to him. He just says to him, Zacchaeus, make haste, come down. For I must stay at your house today. Or as the little so- song we used to sing uh, as, as children, I'm coming to your house for tea. So he came down and he received him and he took him to his home, welcomed him, made a big fuss of him and uh, and and he he was his guest. And we're actually not told what Jesus said to him. It was enough that Jesus had recognized him, knew him by name and came to his house. That encounter with Jesus changed his life forever. He was never the same. I wish we knew more about what happened to him. I'd love to know what happened to him, how his life changed. But it did change radically. Um, People murmured. They said he's gone into to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. He's gone to be, he's not, he's gone to, he's gone to, uh, I can't believe that Jesus, who knows everything about everything, who, 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 He's gone to Zacchaeus' house. And Jesus came into his house. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I've defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Zacchaeus was lost until Jesus found him. And Jesus Jesus went to his home and changed his life forever. That was huge what he was saying. If he'd defrauded on almost every deal he'd made, on almost every tax collection he made, he he would have had to sell a lot of things. 
to pay back what he owed. But he knew that his salvation was retrospective. He had to put right the things he'd done wrong in his life, not just turn over a new leaf and start again. He had to do something else. He had to use his money the right way. I don't know what he ended up doing. Maybe he stayed as a tax collector, but he was an honest tax collector. I don't know. I don't know what he, we don't know what he did. But his life changed because Jesus met with him. So this is wonderful because it says to us that Jesus cares about everyone, not just the people who are already sort of good or people who've always done good things in their lives. He loves people who've done terrible things, terrible things in their lives. Jesus loves them. And I don't, we don't know what the conversation was. We don't know what Jesus said to him. But this man's life was changed by encountering Jesus. He, Jesus became more important to him than his riches and his wealth. And it contrasts with that experience with the rich young ruler, which is just earlier on in chapter 18, when he could not follow Jesus because he was wealthy. He could not deal with his money properly. He could not give it away. And yet Zacchaeus gave his money away. Well, it wasn't his really. It had been defrauded, but he gave it away. He didn't have to do to go back and settle things, but he, he knew he had to set things right. He had to change his way of life. And it's interesting that straight afterwards, Jesus tells a parable, and it says in the scripture here, verse 11, as they heard these things, that was the people that were listening, Jesus proceeded to tell them a parable. And the parable is related to money. It's all about God entrusting, uh, uh, about a, a wealthy man entrusting money to his servants. And, and the judgment is about how they use the, the talents, the money, the pounds, you know, 10 pounds, 10 talents, five talents and one talent or two talents. It's how they used the money. And I'm sure that's related to Zacchaeus. The blessing is how you use what you have, what God has given you. How do you use it for the kingdom? And we've been entrusted with a great deal. We need to use what we have for the growth of the kingdom, not to line our own pockets. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. God bless you. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.